one of the regular questions that comes up in the interview is entry point versus command this video i'll clarify the differences between entry point and command we also get more information about what is entry point how it works and what is command how it works even i'll show some examples how entry point and command can work together let's get started first let's talk about command instruction Command is a default instruction which is executed when we run a container out of an image. Let me show a demo. Let's write a very simple Docker file to understand all these examples here. So I'm extending this image from Ubuntu 16.04. Let's have a command instruction here. Command instruction is executed at runtime. Let's check this first. Let's build image from this. Let's tag it by some name and the location of Docker file here. We created an image. Let's run container from this image. So I'm using IT because I want interactive terminal where I can see the output generated by this container. See that when we run this container, it's executing that command instruction which is defined in the Docker file. If someone wants to override that command instruction which is defined in the Docker file, it can be done at runtime bypassing our own command in this case. See this now this command is executed by overriding the command which is defined inside the docker file the next point to talk is can we use multiple command instructions inside docker file let's see that we have written two command instructions of course it won't give any error but it only consider the latest command in the docker file so in this case right it's going to consider only this command it's going to ignore this let's see that let's again build the image because we modified docker file here we got a new image let's run the container out of this image see that we had two command instructions one says welcome to python other one says welcome to docker so welcome to docker is ignored it's only executing the last command instruction docker file this is also very important to know now let's talk about entry point instruction entry point instruction is also runtime instruction like your command instruction and as we said earlier also it has certain differences so in this case, we are using entry point instruction and we are saying echo hi docker. Let's execute this code and see. Let's build image from this docker file. The image is successfully built. Let's execute this code. Yeah, it says hi docker. So let's see, can we override the entry point instruction at runtime by passing a command here. See if you observe, we are not able to override the entry point instruction which is declared inside docker file but it's getting appended to that entry point instruction which is inside docker file. This command is getting appended to that echo hi docker see that this is one difference between a command instruction and entry point instruction we also can use command and entry point instructions in a combination like this Let me slightly change the entry point instruction here. So what I want to do is, in entry point, I want to just put the command, which is echo. 
and I want to pass arguments to this echo using command instruction like this. Let's say hi docker. So in this case how it works is command instruction is going to be the argument for entry point instruction. So in this case right when we run it's going to print hi docker which is done with help of echo hi docker here. Let's execute and check. So we have to build a new docker image because we modified docker file instruction here. Okay, let's run the container out of this image. You see that? So command instruction has become a default argument for the entry point instruction. And can we override this command instruction from runtime? Yes, we can do that according to our previous discussion. So here, I want to supply my own input, let's say, Hi, hurry. See that now instead of echo hi docker, it's printing echo hi hurry because the command instruction inside docker file is overridden with the command instruction we are passing at runtime using docker run. Yeah, these are the basic differences between command instruction and entry point instruction. Both are executed at runtime. In case of command instruction, we can override it. And in case of entry point instruction, we can't override it, but we can append a command we pass at runtime. And we also can use entry point in combination with command, where command becomes a default argument for the entry point. Even those default arguments can be overridden at runtime by passing our own argument like this. Thank you so much.